James and I, we have decided to go our separate ways. Why am I doing what? Repeat it. Repeat Why what you said. Repeat it. Repeat it. Problem. Problem. Name is Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Tonka Asi Darling. Thank you guys so much for clicking once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know. Gang, gang. All right. On today's video, we're going to be talking about interracial marriages and divorces popular interracial marriages and divorces i know when when you see an interracial marriage it kind of gives hope it kind of blends two different cultures to, brings people together um recently we heard of the unfortunate um crisis i will say crisis because it's not yet done that's going on in the dean household cora obidi and her husband justin dean in fact it's the husband that announced that um he's going to be getting a divorce I'm going to be putting some clips here and there so we can all be in tune. You would recall that two years ago, the, the beacon, I will call them the stars of interracial marriage, Jamie and Nikki also announced that they were divorcing. They had two daughters and it seemed like everything was crumbling. Just a few months back, Lily and James announced that they were divorcing. They also have two daughters. Cora, coincidentally, Cora and Justin also have two daughters. So we have kids involved in every decision that had to do with breakups concerning these stories we are going to be talking about. And it becomes very, very sensitive. First, before we proceed, let me know what you think in the comment section below. We are going to be opening up different angles. I do not like to pick so much into people's family lives but i feel like if there are aspects to which we can learn we can talk about it okay just been we've been really struggling we haven't been ourselves in about eight weeks and we're just we're ready to be ourselves again so you know if, if you guys believe in prayer we would definitely appreciate it if you guys could just say a couple of prayers for us so He's in a PJs. Cleaning already. Oh, already. I'm in already. I'm in the morning. I'm in the Relax. I am relaxed. I feel like I put all this effort in and chopped all these bloody veggies and literally met with no appreciation i'm not angry i'm just like frustrated i feel like a lot of people began to notice that they had kind of they were disconnected in their videos before they did the official breakup i'm not that kind of person like i'm not the kind of friend that will notice when somebody's even pregnant all those you want to check you want to observe you want to no 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 in fact if you don't tell me stuff i will i might not even know I'm not the kind of person that notices when people are breaking up or having issues unless you tell me but i feel like some people have that gift i had to go back and watch that video and i saw it we really don't know because they have never said that this was the reason or that was the reason but that was an unfortunate one the next recent one was the one um for lily and james right. we're not going to kenya get on the rain my surprise we are moving to the netherlands that's what we are doing we are moving to the netherlands okay we have great news to tell you guys what is it the great news is i got a job in the netherlands and so we are moving to the netherlands woo -woo! hi guys this is lily today i have a big life update that i would like to share with you james and i we have decided to go our separate ways and we got divorced. Maybe some people are not surprised. Maybe some people are surprised. I don't know. I know you guys have a lot of questions. I don't know what to talk about actually. Um, he moved out. I'm not really feeling comfortable sharing too much details about the divorce. I can talk about how I'm feeling. I'm coping. I'm hanging in there. I'm kind of like 
sometimes up, sometimes down. I go through this emotional roller coaster. Funny enough, Lily and James, I never really knew them. It was when they were divorcing that YouTube kept recommending the videos. I'm like, who are these people? Oh my God. I went back. I saw that they've been together since like shooting videos since seven, eight years ago. I'm like, wow. See content. She's so lively. He's from Kenya. Um, remember Jamie and Nikki? I think um, Jamie's Australian. Then she's South Sudanese. Then Lily is Korean and um, James is Kenyan. It's just sad for their own if you know what caused their own let us know your thoughts in the comment section but most recently which brings us to the one that we are here for that is um cora what, what makes it more touching is she just gave birth and the husband announced that they are getting a divorce he posted a video where he was confronting her in the dark. Why am I doing what? Repeat it. Repeat Why what are you, you said. Doing this? Repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it. You can't. I don't know what that was about, but you would hear the daughter in the background. So I'm going to be 100% committed to taking care of my newborn and myself. Because the mama is good, baby's good. Um, thank you all for reaching out and for everything. I honestly don't know. What I'll do without your support. I love you so much. Um, have a beautiful, blessed, blessed rest of your day. And just recently, this morning, as at the time I'm filming this video, this morning, he put out a video, apologized to her family, and said, Oh no, the cheating was just early part of the relationship, and he has forgiven her. And um, but the other things are true, or something like that. So I'm going to add that clip for you to see. The comments that I made about um, Cora being a chronic cheater were inaccurate to my knowledge. She cheated at the beginning of the relationship. It caused a rift. I have forgiven her and we have tried to move on. Um, everything, all the comments about these children not being mine are absolutely false. These are my children. I love them. And all other statements that I made in that post are accurate and correct. Comes to separation and divorce, this is what I advise. Please shield your children. Don't be assholes. Don't do that. If you have grown out of love or if you have whatever you call the name of what you people want to do, the both of you should keep the children in school. Go and lock yourself in a room and discuss how you want to present this matter to the children. I'm very serious. I feel like Parents are just, imagine shouting and saying, say, repeat what he said, repeat what he said, and the daughter is there. You might think that, oh, she's too young to understand, but no. Another angle a lot of people were bringing up was, oh, maybe Cora had um, postpartum depression and all of that. And people are like, ah, yes, but you know, it's possible to. Do you understand that postpartum depression can linger for years? Yes, her other daughter, must, I think two or three, the girl should be two or three now. Postpartum depression can linger for years. I remember my own till now. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. Unless your own was not bad. Unless your own was not bad. And another angle I'm going to bring in is do not take advantage of understanding partners. Let's take it easy. Most times when you do this interracial marriage, like, okay, I was calling nationalities for the rest. Cora is Nigerian and I think Justin is American. When you do interracial marriages, cultures tend to intertwine and there becomes a gray area maybe he's coming from a culture that wife has to respect husband you're coming from a culture where the both of you are equal or vice versa you now start walking through it and yes the first few periods you can blend in but sometimes issues might just pop up please discuss within yourself i know a lot of people say ah why is he bringing it to this um social media i feel all these couples we're talking about are social media couples there are many people that are 
um, in interracial marriages, they divorced and nobody heard because they're not social media couples. There are people that are thriving till today. I follow a lot of couples that are interracial and they are doing well. I know that they feel a lot of heat because they get racism, they get different sides. There was a period of people were attacking Cora. I remember that one vividly. Americans were attacking her. Black Americans were attacking her because she married her oppressor. She married the one that brought her ancestors in chains. I feel black, black see, let's not even, as a side, black Americans do too much. Stop it. Stop it. All right, so now let's talk about an angle that made it pop. I feel like people do not talk about oppression that has to do with men. They silence their voice in toxic masculinity. First, they will say, no, show your feminine side. But when they show it, you laugh at them. Now, this guy is crying out for whatever reason. I'm not saying whether he's right, but I'm saying if he has brought an angle, let's talk about it. If he has talked about this part, if he's a lady, we will believe her. We will believe her 100%, even without saying anything. But why is it that in his own case now, people are like, eh, hey, no. As a society, we should not silence the cry of the man. We should not silence the cry of the masculine gender. When the boys are crying, don't cry, be a man. Don't cry, be a man. Are you not a man? No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Because after a while, you rope them in this toxic masculinity. When they begin to exhibit the characters, we are the ones shouting. We are the ones shouting patriarchal society. Hey, patriarchy. Hey, this one. Allow them to express themselves. When it comes to domestic violence now, if a man cries out, um, Common Sense Sisters did a video, and basically a guy is crying out that his wife is beating him. Why is she beating him? Because he has failed to impregnate her. Let me repeat myself. She's beating her husband because he has failed to impregnate her. Beat him up, lock him inside, injured him. The lawyers are going to the judge. They, they, see, they think it's funny. They sent a female policewoman to the house. She beat the policewoman. If it was a lady, she has gone to Insta blog. We have started shouting. All men has come. This one, that one. Why? Why are we not taking men seriously? Is it that we don't know that many men are in marriages where they are beating them up? I've said this thing in a video before. A particular guy could not talk. The day he told a friend they saw him, if you see his back, all sorts of scars. He had, according to that story, he had rabies or something like that. He was not taken care of. His wife. Let's not be too used to saying, to um, talking about something simply because it affects our gender. If it's affecting the other gender, let's talk about it. If you're narcissistic to your husband, that's a bad thing. Because if they did it to you now, you go write a pistol. If you're doing bad, if you're cheating as a lady, that's bad. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. All the uh, manipulation or whatever. Do you know that even if you look at it and say, oh, marrying a white person, the person, their own culture is not like the African toxic culture. I can talk to him anyhow. No, respect is respect. Respect is respect. If you respect the person as you normally respect anybody, it doesn't take anything from you. You don't have to go out of your way to be more disrespectful so that you can blend into a culture. That's, not, that's wrong. Is it possible that, yes, she's depressed? Yes, it is very possible. It is very possible. I feel like I think he's a doctor, he's a chiropractic, chiropractic doctor, or correct me if I'm wrong. So I am I'm open to thinking that he must understand what PTSD is, if or postpartum depression is. If he doesn't, I feel like personally she needs therapy to be able to go through it. Unlike Nigeria, there she gave birth, I think she gave birth in the house or water birth or something. Some of all these bets, eh, I know that you want to be superwoman. I'm not, I'm not faulting you because when I see it, I'm like, wow, you're strong. Understand that it takes a toll on the mental health. The child will come. And for some of them, they still be looking at the child like, what is this? Because the pain was so great, he almost wanted to kill the enjoyment. Let me know if you have experienced that or if you know anybody that has experienced that. Some people experience such a difficult labor. It's hard for them to connect with their child. It's hard for them to connect with anybody. Anybody that comes near them is irritating them. They don't know how to con connect with even family members. They start begin being picky. They start chasing people that want to help them. And if you're somebody that you're quick to get angry, you can read it the wrong way. 
according to his story, he said he has been trying to save this marriage since 2018. So it's not something that happened just at when she wanted to give birth. So 2018 should be before she gave birth to her first child. The line for this story is number one. Let us not drown the voice of the, a crying man. Do not drown the voice of a crying man in this toxic masculinity, whatever. Allow men to cry. I feel like if they if they don't have a way to express that their energy, they put it in another thing. Before you know they are beating somebody. Before you know they are finding trouble in one corner. Allow men to express themselves. Also know that men that cry most times are very manipulative. I will kill myself. I will cry. I will do, sometimes it's manipulation. But when it comes from emotional, just being able to speak their mind, allow them. Stop laughing. It's not funny. You want an expressive man or you mock an expressive man. As ladies, is the one that is beating you that is entering your eye. You see, is it a right thing? Tomorrow now you are giving us story. Yeah, we are seeing red flag. Oh, that one is looking too boring. He doesn't quarrel with me. My sister. It's you I'm talking to. Number two, if you're married or you're considering interracial marriage, understand respect. Much as you're marrying another culture, understand respect is respect. Understand each other, please understand each other the third one my heart goes out to pregnant women that have to go to um, go to postpartum depression please if you're going through postpartum depression i feel like you should heal completely before venturing into having another child because it can make it worse my own take it can make it worse you can spiral into something you do not even recognize very very important the fourth one and that's why i don't like social media this thing waiting will spoil will spoil but understand that yes some people you can spoil in the dark which is okay but what, the moment it comes to social media having to tell people to respect your space you know go walk home do you understand another thing is if you're in, on social media and you find your husband is not a social media person stop forcing him to be on social media it might put a strain on your marriage he might put a strain on your marriage yes um understand when he wants to do his own thing he does want to show up you are not quarreling even with patricia once in a while you don't see michael most times you don't see him when you see him you see him they are fine but understand everybody knows their place i know that it's a content that sells if you keep pushing this interracial part but draw the line because a lot of people are just nosy they don't necessarily like you they, they just want to see what's going on okay and when it comes to settling please for the sake of your children take all your quarreling and your bitterness to the back when you want to talk when your children are there make sure that you watch because it forms an opinion in their head it begins to form their character it begins to enter their it affects them it affects them stop acting like it's just normal quarrel quarreling and shouting and screaming at the top of your voice in presence of your children is a big no do not do it so guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Personally, I feel like they can walk through their differences. I don't know the differences um, um, to, the, to a large extent, but I feel she should give ear to her husband's concern. And if they can, they should. Because, man, what do you guys think? It's too early. Imagine that new beautiful baby having to go through this at this early point. Ah, oh, man, it's a lot. But first, I really want to hear your opinion on all these marriages and these divorces. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about interracial marriages? Do you think everybody should just marry within their race? Does it make it better? After all, we are hearing divorce stories, Nigeria married Nigerian. So I don't think that interracial marriages actually cause the divorce. Um, do you think in social media we have to blame? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, what other angle do you think has to blame for this interracial marriage um, and the concern that people are having and also do you agree with me should men be allowed to express themselves and in cases of domestic violence um should same attention be given to domestic violence cases in men as with women or they should give 80 20 or 50 50 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as usual remember your girl i see darling please check out my other videos and i'll see you in my next one bye guys